Fusiliers is a name given to various kinds of soldiers. Its meaning depends on the historical context. While fusilier is derived from the 17th century French word fusil a euro meaning a type of flintlock musket a euro the term has been used in contrasting ways in different countries and at different times, including soldiers guarding artillery, various elite units, ordinary line infantry and other uses. History Flintlock small arms were first used militarily during the early 17th century. Flintlocks, at the time, were more reliable and safer to use than matchlock muskets, which required a match to be lit near the breech before the weapon could be triggered. By contrast, flintlocks were fired by flint. By the time of the English Civil War, one flintlock musket, the Snafants, was in common use in Britain. The term fusiliers was first used officially by the French army in 1670, when four fusiliers were distributed amongst each company of infantry. The following year the Fusiliers do Rui opening round bracket King's Fusiliers, the first regiment composed primarily of soldiers with flint locks, was formed by Tsar copyright Bastien Le Preste de Vauban. Guarding and escorting artillery pieces was the first task assigned to the Fusiliers du Rui. Flint locks were especially useful around field artillery, as they were less likely than match locks to accidentally ignite open barrels of gunpowder, required at the time to load cannons. At the time, artillery units also required guards to maintain discipline amongst civilian draymen. Hence the term fusilia became strongly associated with the role of guarding artillery in Britain and the English-speaking world, especially after the formation of the first official fusilia units, during the 1680s. During the 18th century, as flintlocks became the main weapon used by infantry, the term fusilia gradually ceased to have this meaning and was applied to various units. France. By the mid 18th century, the French army used the term fusiliers to designate ordinary line infantry, as opposed to specialist or a copyright light infantry, such as grenadiers, voltigeurs, carabiniers, or chasseurs. The French army no longer uses the term fusiliers, although a number of its infantry regiments descend from fusilier regiments. The term fusiliers is still used in the Navy and Air Force. They are protection forces of riflemen assuring security and policing on land bases and installations as well as on ships. The commandos are selected from their ranks. The commandos are special forces units. They are, French Navy, Force Maritime des Fusiliers Marins et Commandos, French Air Force, Fusiliers Commandos de la United Kingdom, the original Fusiliers in the British Army were the 7th foot. Royal Regiment of Fusiliers raised in 1685. This subsequently became the Royal Fusiliers. The original purpose of this unit was to act as escort to artillery guns, as well as keeping discipline amongst the civilian drivers. Both a Scots and Welsh regiment also became Fusiliers in the period up to and including 1702 and all three regiments were distinguished by the wearing of a slightly shorter version of the mitred cap worn by grenadier companies of all other infantry regiments. A number of additional infantry regiments were subsequently designated as fusiliers during the 19th century, but this was simply a historic distinction without any relationship to special weapons or roles. In 1865 a distinctive headdress was authorized for British Army fusilier regiments. Originally a seal skin cap for other ranks, this was replaced by a black raccoon skin cap of 9 inches in height, according to the 1874 dress regulations. Fusilier officers however wore a taller bearskin like their counterparts in the foot guards the badge for each regiment was placed at the front of the bear or raccoon skin headdress, and consisted of a stylized flaming grenade, with different emblems placed on the ball of the grenade. Attached to the various types of fusilier headdress, including the modern beret, is the hackle. This is a short-cut feather plume, the color or colors of which varied according to the regiment. Initially, the only regiment authorized to wear a plume or hackle were the fifth of foot. The regiment had originally worn a white feather distinction, authorized in 1824 to commemorate the victory of St. Lucia in 1778 when men of the 5th Regiment were supposed to have taken white feathers from the hats of fallen French soldiers. When in 1829 a white plume was ordered for all line infantry regiments, to preserve the 5th Regiment's emblem, they were authorized to wear a white plume with a red tip 
allegedly to indicate a distinction won in battle. The fifth were designated Fusiliers in 1836. Following the Second Boer War plumes were added to the headgear of all Fusilier regiments in recognition of their service in South Africa. The following Fusilier regiments existed prior to the outbreak of World War I. The nine regiments of Fusiliers that existed in 1914 have since been reduced to one by a series of disbandments and mergers. In 1920 the Royal Welsh Fusiliers was renamed as the Royal Welsh Fusiliers. Due to the creation of the Irish Free State, the Royal Munster Fusiliers and Royal Dublin Fusiliers were disbanded on July 31, 1922. In 1935 the Northumberland Fusiliers was awarded the title Royal. Under the Defence Review of 1957 the number of infantry regiments was reduced. The Royal Scots Fusiliers was amalgamated with the Highland Light Infantry on January 20, 1959 to form the Royal Highland Fusiliers. The new regiment wore the white hackle of the RSF, with a flaming grenade badge bearing the monogram of the HLI. Under the same review, the three English Fusilier regiments were grouped as the Fusilier Brigade in 1958. While retaining their individual identities, a single cap badge was adopted. This was flaming grenade bearing St. George and the dragon within a laurel wreath the whole ensigned by a crown. This combined elements of the badges of the three regiments, who continued to be distinguished by their coloured hackles, red over white for the Royal Northumberland Fusiliers, white for the Royal Fusiliers and primrose yellow for the Lancashire Fusiliers. Also in 1958 the North Irish Brigade was formed, consisting of the Royal Inniskilling Fusiliers, the Royal Irish Fusiliers and the Royal Ulster Rifles. All regiments adopted a harp and crown badge on the corbine, worn with the hackle, grey for the Inniskillings, green for the Royal Irish Fusiliers and black for the Rifles. On May 1, 1963 the Royal Warwickshire Regiment was redesignated as the Royal Warwickshire Fusiliers and joined the Fusilier Brigade. An old gold and blue hackle was adopted. On April 23, 1968 the four regiments of the Fusilier Brigade were amalgamated to form the Royal Regiment of Fusiliers. The RRF are now the only English Fusilier Regiment and wear the red over white hackle of the fifth foot with the badge adopted in 1958 for the Fusilier Brigade. On July 1, 1968 the three regiments of the North Irish Brigade were amalgamated to form the Royal Irish Rangers and ceased to be a Fusilier Regiment. The green hackle of the Royal Irish Fusiliers continued in use. Following a further merger in 1992 the lineage is now continued by the Royal Irish Regiment. On March 1, 2006, the Royal Welsh Fusiliers were amalgamated with the Royal Regiment of Wales to form the Royal Welsh. The white hackle of the RWF is worn with the cap badge of the RRW. Elements of the regimental band wear Fusilier full dress. On March 28, 2006 the Scottish Infantry Regiments were merged into the Royal Regiment of Scotland. The individual battalions of the regiment retain the titles of the predecessor units, and the Royal Highland Fusiliers, Second Battalion the Royal Regiment of Scotland continues to wear the white hackle of the Royal Scots Fusiliers. In addition, the Scots Guards were known as the Scots Fusilier Guards from 1831 to 1877. Canada, there are five Fusilier regiments patterned on the British tradition forming part of the militia of the Canadian forces. The Royal 22 e Ra copyright giant, although not Fusiliers, wears Fusilier ceremonial uniform with scarlet plumes because of its alliance with the Royal Welch Fusiliers. The Royal Highland Fusiliers of Canada, Les Fusiliers du Street La Ronde, White Plume, Les Fusiliers Mont Royal, White Plume, The Princess Louise Fusiliers, Les Fusiliers de Chibrook, White Plume. Germany. Prussia made early use of the title Fusilier for various types of infantry. In 1705 the foot guards were designated as Fusilier Guards. By 1837 low-quality infantry raised from garrison companies also were named Fusiliers. These latter units were dressed in blue with low mitre caps. C. 2. Between 1740 and 1743 on Frederick the Great raised 14 separate Fusilier regiments. Except for the mitre caps, these new regiments were identical in appearance, training and role to the existing line infantry. Subsequently Prussia and several other German states used the designation Fusilier to denote a type of light infantry, dressed in green, 
that acted as skirmishers. In the Prussian army they had been formed in 1787 as independent battalions, with many of the officers having had experience in the American Revolutionary War. The Prussian reforms of 1808 absorbed the Fusiliers as the 3rd Battalion of each line infantry regiment. Now wearing blue uniforms, they were distinguished by black leather belts, and a slightly different arrangement of cartridge pouch. In the Prussian Army of 1870, infantry regiments 33 to 40 plus regiments 73, 80 and 86 were all designated as Fusiliers, as was the Guard Fusilier Regiment. In addition the 3rd Battalions of all Guard, Grenadier and Line Infantry Regiments retained the designation Fusilier Battalion. They were armed with a slightly shorter version of the Dre's rifle, that took a sword bayonet rather than the standard socket bayonet. Although still theoretically skirmishers, in practice they differed little from their compatriots, as all Prussian infantry fought in a style that formed a dense firing or skirmish line. By the 1880s the title was honorific and, while implying specialist or elite, did not have any tactical significance. In a sense all infantry were becoming fusiliers, as weapons, tactics and equipment took on the fusilier characteristics, that is, skirmish line, shorter rifles, sword bayonets and black leather equipment. Nonetheless these titular units remained in existence until the end of the German Imperial Army in 1918, as follows, Guard Fusilier Regiment, Fusilier Regiment Count Rune No. 33, Fusilier Regiment Queen Victoria of Sweden No. 34, Fusilier Regiment Prince Henry of Prussia No. 35, Fusilier Regiment General Field Marshal Count Blumenthal No. 36, Fusilier Regiment von Steinmetz No. 37, Fusilier Regiment Field Marshal Count Molk No. 38, Lower Rhineland Fusilier Regiment No. 39, Fusilier Regiment Prince Charles Anton of Ohenswin No. 40, Fusilier Regiment Field Marshal Prince Albert of Prussia No. 73, Fusilier Regiment von Gerdstoff No. 80, Fusilier Regiment Queen No. 86, Grand Ducal Mecklenburg Fusilier Regiment No. 90, Fusilier Regiment Emperor Francis Joseph of Austria King of Hungary Y1 Quarter Rittenberg, No. 122, in addition, there was the following regiment, Royal Saxon Shire 1 Quarter Zen Regiment Prince George No. 108. This was a special case, as it was also classed as Shire 1 Quarter Zen. This designation originally signified a type of jar currency gear, and thus the regiment wore the jar currency gear style dark green uniform. The various fusilier regiments and battalions in the German Imperial Army of 1914 did not have any single distinctions of dress or equipment to distinguish them as fusiliers. Individual regiments did however have special features worn with a dark blue full dress. Some of these features were maintained on the field grey dress of the trenches right up to 1918. As examples in full dress, the guard fusiliers had nickel buttons and yellow shoulder straps, and the 80th fusiliers special braiding on collars and cuffs. When a regiment was permitted the distinction of a horsehair plume on the pickgirl hob, for fusiliers it was always black. This included the 3rd Battalion of those regiments normally distinguished by a white horse hair plume. In World War II the elite German division Grauwiechland contained a regiment titled Panzerfahr 1 Quarter Cilier, to maintain the old German traditions. This was again titular, as in organization, appearance and tactical use they were essentially Panzergrenadier. The modern German army has no fusiliers. Netherlands, in the Royal Netherlands Army. One of the two foot guards regiments, the Garda Regiment Fusiliers Princess Irene is a regiment of Fusiliers. Belgium, the Belgian army has no specific regiment called Fusiliers, but the general denomination for infantry soldiers is Storm Fusilier. The Belgian Navy used to have a regiment of Marine infantry composed of Marine Fusiliers in charge of the protection of the naval bases. However this unit was disbanded in the 1990s reforms. Portugal and Brazil from the 18th to the 19th centuries, the term fusileiros was used, in the Portuguese army, to designate the regular line infantry, as opposed to the grenadiers and the light infantry. The Portuguese army discontinued the use of the term in the 1860s, but the Brazilian army continues to use it today, to designate all infantry soldiers. The term fusileiros marineiros has been used in the Portuguese navy, 
since the late 18th century, to designate the naval infantry. Presently, both the Portuguese and the Brazilian Marine Corps are called Fusileiros Nave. Mexico, on January 1, 1969 the Mexican Army created the Parachute Fusilier Brigade with two infantry and one training battalions. The brigade's role is that of a strategic reserve, based in Mexico City. Switzerland, line infantry soldiers of the lowest rank in the Swiss Army have historically been designated as fusiliers. Because the modern Swiss infantry soldier is trained in a much broader variety of tasks than his historical counterpart and because of some negative connotations attached to the term far one quarter ciliaire, modern infantry battalions of the Swiss Army have been renamed Infanteria Battalion, or INF BAT. The individual soldiers are officially called Infanterisen, not far one quarter ciliaire, but colloquially they are still referred to as far one quarter ciliaire, or far one quarter slept. This meaning is retained in the name of the 1938 Swiss film Fusilier Whip. See also, Musketeer, Rifleman, Grenadier. References and Notes Further reading, this article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. Encyclopaedia Britannica. Cambridge University Press. Hofschra Paragrapher, Peter. Brian Fossen. Prussian Light Infantry 1792 Euro 1815. Osprey Publishing Limited. ISBN 0 85045 540 5. External links French Infantry of the Napoleonic Wars.